What is up, Terry Woods? I'm back with some new video right here on Slice and Dice and Gaming Entertainment. I'm gonna play some wrestling, more specifically, play some Fire Pro Wrestling. So let me actually move that out the way. Um, Fire Pro Wrestling. I've had the urge to play wrestling game. I've had Fire Pro Wrestling for a while. I'm actually a big fan of the Fire Pro Wrestling theory. You know, this is technically only the second one I've actually played in my lifetime. We're gonna get into it. Um, if you haven't checked out my on promotion, you know, slicing, dicing, gaming, wrestling, right here on the YouTube channel. I was doing that. I want to get back into that, but I just haven't really had the time to done it, to done it, to do it. And so I just kind of, so you know, what, let me get back into some of uh, the fire part wrestling. So I'm actually gonna do one of the fighting roads. Uh, we're actually, I've actually been playing the heavyweight mode. So uh, I might just, I might actually start that over, re-record that. I actually just download the junior heavyweight stuff, but we're gonna do champion road beyond. Which is actually a continuation of Pseudo 51. You don't know who Pseudo 51 is. He's actually over Grasshopper Studios, like Lollipop Chainsaw, and some other games. He actually did, I think, also um, Normal Heroes from Thick and Straight. I guess before he was doing all of that, he actually wrote, or he was on the Fire Power Wrestling team. So 26 years ago, he actually did a fighting road. He came back. And he actually did this one. So we're actually going to do this one. Start from the beginning. We'll put it on normal. Let's get into it. Chapter one. Prologue. I'm running. Running down a narrow and winding hall. Winding hall. Hmm. Winding? Winding? An endless series of turns and curves. <laughs> turns and corners. I can't read. No exit in sight. No end in sight. The hall goes on forever. 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 As I run forward, the light fades. Then vanishes. I'm plunged into a black void. I run on with darkness. No light. No sound. Nothing left to feel. The infinite darkness consumes me. From the darkest depths, someone's hand reaches for me. Whose hand? My gut senses danger. But. I reach for it without the slightest hesitation. The hand is trying to tell me something. Something important. As it feels like an eternity, the stranger's hand finally grabs mine, and then I wake up. Champion Road Beyond. Samoa Sabai, this is his name. Same crap nightmare every night. Someone chasing me until I wake up drenched in sweat. Grateful Sabai. Don't read too much into it. Okay. They dreams to make you wet the bed. God, we don't need the rubber sheets no more. Hey, uncle, shut the hell up. <laughs> Whose hand do you think that was? Think about it. Won't do you no good because uh, concentrate on your upcoming match. You got it. But I can't get it out of my head. Out of my head. I forgot the name of the song. Uh, <laughs> Listen up, Sumio. All your hard work has been for today's debut match. Don't let it go to waste. Yeah, you're right. As your protege, I can't run the name of Grateful Sabai through the mud. Out of boy, now get in there and raise hell. Shar! <laughs> Wait, Lit Cola, one of us said Thick Rick. <laughs> it's Thick Rick. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. I know there are other places you could be. Ah, uh, who am I lying to, kid? You bummed they got nothing better to do than watch a couple of guys smack each other senseless. 
You know, I got my start with the UWA. The plan was to retire with the gongs. Wanna get involved with superstars, that's why I have my eye on the travelers. But you see, Japanese pro wrestling and combat sports have gotten watered down. We lost our skill. Back in the day, Japan led the pack. We inspired the rest of the world. When you look at us now, all secondhand gimmicks ripped off from America. America. You guys cool with that? No, didn't think so. Stuff suits and corporate sponsors have their boot on the neck of the sport. History, it repeats. So many guys have been mangled and spit out by the system. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What if we don't? So much great talent, so many great front men sacrificed for the bottom line. And the media, you sit back and you watch it all happen. You should be the ones holding management's feet to the fire. Oh, excuse me. Ah, screw it. You've all heard the spiel. No matter how big of a stink I raise, it falls on deaf ears. What I'm getting at is all this pent up frustration. I take it out in the ring. Now, don't start posting on social media that the grateful Sabai is making a comeback. That ain't it. Nah, bruh. Today's the debut of my protege. This boy's got promise. He's a real game changer. You're about to witness history in the making. So let those streamers fly. Celebrate the birth of my beloved protege. He looked drunk as hell in that picture. Japanese pro wrestling needs to be protected. Rest assured, the test falls on me. Kotaro Kuduro? Crony? Doesn't matter who it is. They besmirched the sport. And I went, left. And I will take them down. Who says besmirch though? Can I me half cocked and I'll slap your arms like twigs? <coughs> and I'll snap your arms like twigs. My bad. Things carefully before making a move. Take pro wrestling lightly, and you'll be paying a heavy cost on my hand. You ask if I'm scared, not knowing the identity of my opponent. A pro wrestler must embrace the unknown. Anyone, anytime, anywhere. I follow the words of Flaming Musashi. I'll take on any opponent. You name the time, and I'll be ready. Ready to take you down. Okay, that's a decent promo, I guess. Oh, statements from both corners. Will they rewrite history today? Or be f or become a forgotten footnote? Ah! The hour of truth is at hand. Japanese top talent. Chrono. Crony? Mm. We're gonna call him K. K is up against the proudest people of the legendary warrior, Grateful Sabai. His opponent is shrouded in mystery. We don't know anything more about him than you folks do watching at home. Ooh. K's made his stance clear. Now here comes his opponent. There's Randy Orton. No. The veil of secrecy will finally be lifted. Wait, what's this? Hold on a second. We just received where the Grateful people is can you believe it he's a master wrestler he goes by the name the slack the slack <laughs> slack the slack and then through the ring time has come this is sin upon the ring that's a dumb name I like the master starting out with a mask on Punk had no respect for the professor. Guess when you have to I rip that mask off your head. Katuro Konoro. Japan is not wrestling. You are the face of the sport. Someday you'll be famous worldwide. People will remember our fight today. They remember that I beat you. I respect you in the sport as well. That doesn't mean I'll hand over the win. Sha Okay. Let's go. Cause this first match on the way. Ah, fire pro wrestling. How I miss thee sometimes.
So if you never played Fire Pro Wrestling, it's very time focused. It's not all about just mashing on buttons. So you lock up and you have to press the button that you want to remove right when you lock up. Because if not, your opponent can counter it. And then uh, Fire Pro Wrestling does a light, medium. So Fire Pro Wrestling uses a light, uh, goes light, medium, big. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. It's just kind of like in Pro Wrestling, how like, you can't... Just like how in Pro Wrestling, like, you don't start the match off with your big move. You have to like build up to it. Well, Fire Pro Wrestling is the exact same way. We have to big up to, you have to build up to your big move. Whatever that may be. Tap, tap, tap. I've never won any of those like exchanges. Fuck, I missed. Oh, two point nine. I gotta get that timing down. Drop is kind of weird to hit in this game. Let's go with the elbow drop. What I wanted. I've got my pin ones for a second. And also in Fire Wrestling, you have to get your like your breath back, so there's like a breathing system. It's pretty cool. So you have to like strategically. Let's go. Woo! First match in the books. Really, they only got 54? Mm. It's kind of. Well. So I can talk about this for a second. So, if I press wrestling in order to get higher match evaluations, it's not just about you doing like move, big move, big move. It's all about. Uh, close counts, uh, two point nine counts, building up, building up the match. So your opponent gets an offense, you get an offense. You have to take that. You kind of have to take that into consideration if you want to get the higher match evaluations. But let's continue our story. Master Caroni, I think it's Caroni. Let's say Caroni. What can you tell us about your uh, mysterious, the mysterious opponent, <laughs> Select? 
This is the time. No comment. I'm pissed. Katara Coroni. It ain't over. This ain't how it's going in. I'm putting a rematch with Shellac on the table. Man up and take it. Excited whispers. Oh, shit's it. Which one he uses the strongest? That's what I want to find out. It don't even have to be Coroni. I'll take anyone crazy enough to challenge Shellac. Get over yourself. I accept your rematch. The next time we meet, it'll be the Shellac's last. You must still be loopy after getting banged, banged up in the ring. Have it your way. The Shellac agrees. Just wait and see. I have a gravestone with his name on it. Ooh, big talk. Oh, you got is real scared, tough guy. Better save it for yourself. Let the broken nut select and Kataru Corona are having a rematch. Oh snap. Rematch. I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. Okay, it's safe, cool.